Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world's sixth largest, biggest shopping mall. World's sixth largest. And it's obviously the largest in the Philippines. And I've been to one of the large shopping center in Cebu, the SM, and that was huge. And when I Googled it, that only stands at number seven. So the question is, how big could a world's sixth largest shopping center could be? Well, there's only one way to find that out. Me and Christine, my Google assistant, we're here to explore it. Let's go check it out. Hello. Yeah, nothing in the bag. Wow, what a grand entrance. It's got white and gold and wooden. Even the color scheme makes it look very open than it already is. Well, there are a few interesting features here which I have already Googled it, but I haven't seen it. So we're gonna go find out and check out ourselves. So stay tuned. And I walk past this Jollibee, which is almost like a religious place for Filipinos. They love Jollibee. Someone said to me it's uh, like an equivalent of KFC, but Filipinos, they love it. And look at the size of this place. It goes all the way to the other side. I mean, for a Jollibee, that's huge. There's elevators going that way. There's a, another elevator past that corner, can't be seen from this side. And I uh, just come back from the other side. So past these shops, there's more shops. and This is huge. So I'm just gonna give you guys a bit of a, kind of like a random kind of tour. So whatever we end up, whatever we end up seeing, but this will give you a bit of an, bit of an idea. That's the other building which connects to the other section. But well, while I'm here, I thought I'd just also try to find an Ace Pro, my other cameras, a cage for it. I did try yesterday at the 999 and 680. If you haven't checked that video out, have a look. It's just worth to even explore and look around. So I thought while I'm here, maybe I should ask around. Wow, this is like a whole section of tech here. Not bad. I mean, for a shopping mall, it's very fancy. How long this one goes for? Oh, still got a few turns. Uh, decorations must be must be from the uh, Chinese New Year's, which wasn't uh, too long ago. Right, we only have two level two so far. And we haven't even done the full, full circle of the mall. We've only been to a couple of places. This is pretty cool. It's like a outdoor area like still part of the mall i mean it's nice to just sit around and outside and put the fresh air put a natural light put a break from the air conditioning of the mall and air continues so this part here is obviously connecting to some sort of transportation there it is the mall of asia so as far as you can see, it's all part of the mall. And then to the left, this is where it connects. This is where he walked from. I just wanted to quickly show you something. I haven't figured out how to get here, but it's got an arena. That over there is a mall of Asia arena. Yep, that's proper IKEA. But we need to go to the arena. Alright, so I figured it out. I actually couldn't get into the arena. 
there's some event happening and only the ticket holders or the, I don't know, the participants are allowed to go in. But anyway, we did give it a shot and there it is. I mean, it would have been nice to go in and have a look, but it's good enough. Good enough to just to be, at least be able to have a look and say, hey, there's an arena in the shopping center. I've never seen that before. So, level three, the top level. As far as you can see, it's all the more. So level three's got a food court as well. And uh, right behind me in that section over there, they had a time zone, like a, I think the gaming center. All right, here it is. The skating ring I was talking about. So the skating ring that was in uh, SM Cebu Seaside, that was an Olympic size skating ring. Wow, a shopping center that's got a skating ring, an arena inside it, and Ikea inside it. Archery. Oh, let's see what she, how she goes. Oh, not bad. And it continues. I swear to God, I can have a coffee right now after walking around in this center. And I think I haven't even covered 10% of it. Like each direction you look at this, it just continues, it goes. If you find this video interesting, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and press that bell icon. So when I post my future videos, though, which will be many coming up, you'll get the notification straight away. And I love to travel and uh, have you in this journey with me. Saying that, I'll leave you to it. You've got to enjoy and take care.